Uh, welcome back, your friends. It's I'm back in my campaign under Wrath of the Righteous. Um, in between episodes, we were just um, fighting some demons, and then we were building some bridge, and now we are on the other side, and on the other side we were attacked in a, um, in a Hinterhalt, what's Hinterhalt in English, by some flies and scorpions and stuff like that. Um, yeah, anyway, there are some, there is we know who room. The one who wanted to kill us, probably. My beloved brother, I admire your seal, of course. But you know, uh, but would you not agree, this is hardly the time to be standing guard over a hole that no one will ever emerge from. Or perhaps you're concerned that someone will decide to go for a nighttime stroll and will accidentally fall into it. Such foresight is laudable, but do you really need so many soldiers for such a task? Can't your warriors be put back to use, for instance, fighting demons or clearing rubble, while the people trapped beneath it might still be alive? The face of the golden curled Azimar is beautiful even by the standards of his kind, in whose veins runs the blood of angels. Nodia's voice sounds cheerful, but bitter reproach simmers in his Don't you dare call me brother, Herat. Signs of recent hard fighting are obvious in, his, in this stern old man. His armor is dented and covered in blood, and his unnatural pallor suggests something more dangerous than wounds inflicted by the northern fangs. Nevertheless, his gaze is stony and his voice accustomed to barking orders is harsh and glib. How dare you accuse me of doing nothing to protect the city, especially now when followers of your temple were caught committing treason. To my mind, you are no different than the demon worshippers those mis miscreants, those beasts that are digging under the city walls. Okay. Everyone knows, my dearest prelate, that in your zealous pursuit of order in the city, you have long since forgotten how to tell friend from foe and good from evil. That's what happened with my adepts, whose act of was a genuine attempt to save the city. And yet again, I'm forced to repeat myself. While we are wasting time on pointless quarrels, people are dying under the rubble in, your, in our city. People whom we could have saved if you had only set your soldiers to the task and not kept them here, surrounding a useless, utterly harmless hole in the ground. Harmless? Well, if it's on your say-so, then that must mean there is someone down there. Your associates, no doubt. And they've, they are just waiting for us to abandon our posts, or they slink out and try again to... The old man notices your approach. And you, I remember you. You appeared in my city the day the demons attacked and Terendelef died. What are you doing here? Answer at once, or I'll have you strung up by your ankles before you know it. Don't think that the demons have wounded me. I still have enough strength to take on a hundred of, of yours. Of course. And what is this hideous creature? The room peers at land with suspicion. Well, I also have a tiefling with me. Land, at your service. More the mutant ducks his head in a bow. My forebears fought. I've lived in Canabras my whole life. You haven't ever seen me before? Huh. Must be because you don't ever venture into your 
sewers. <laughs> we have been meaning to complain to the city authorities that our paving stones have been in need to repair for a long time. First crusade, so you're a mutant. Huh. You obviously know human speech surprisingly well, in fact. All right, let's be off with you. Credate looks at you. If he causes any trouble, I shall hold you responsible. Come to think of it, you still haven't told me who you are. Uh, I'm a crusader. I'm fighting to liberate Canabras from the demons. Who are you to be asking me such questions? You want to fight? Be my guest. <laughs> yeah, he's so he's so stubborn. We should take the third one. Let's take this. I find it passing strange that you don't already know who I am. Ulrun Shapok. Ulrun Shapok. Canabras is themed prelate. Prelate of Canabras, inquisitor by the grace of Iomide. Defender of the city by the grace of Her Majesty Queen Gelfry. Against threats from within and without. Ramian. And as we can see, You've done a sterling job protecting the city. The Golden Curl. There's some kind of um, sarcasm there. I I don't think that lawful good characters can do sarcasm. So Ramian is not a lawful good character. The Golden Curl Asma flashes a flinty smile. I am Ramian of Edna, prior of the Temple of Desna. So it's also a god. Lady Luck, which, alas, currently lies in ruins. Weisholrun here believes it is vital to guard, guard this hole in the ground from which he is certain demons will emerge at any moment. I have been trying to convince him that the city has far more urgent matters to deal with. For instance, rescuing those currently dying under the rubble. You know what? I uh, mean, fact, be one matter that is more important than guarding this hole. I've put it off and put it off, and look where it's led us. I should have had you hung from the gates back. You dare to defend your gang of delinquent demon collaborators. If the Sarkonkorians had hanged Arilo Wallish while they had the chance, there never would have been. I won't repeat their mistake. I won't hesitate any longer. Soldiers cease the scum. Yeah. Prelate, a reason. These are frightening times, but threatening to hang someone without trial, that is unworthy of a servant of Yumida. The old man fixes his eyes on Sila. Lest you forget, girl. We may serve the same goddess, but you are not an inquisitor. Don't question the way I choose to serve Yomide, and I won't question yours. Okay. What precisely are you accusing Ramian of, Inquisitor? Reveal the light of heaven. Behold, Inquisitor, I bear the gift of an angel who died in the caves below Canabras. I am no enemy of yours. Lawful, you are doing what's right, old run. There's no place in the crusade for troublemakers. Kelpic, don't lay a finger on him, or you'll have to answer to me. Okay, let, let's ask me uh, ask him first. Treason! Not long before the city was attacked, several followers from his temple tried to secretly access the wardstone and perform an unknown ritual over it. Ulrun is trembling with fury. Wardstone of Kinabras, a gift from Iomide, the bringer of light, wrought by the hands of her herald, first in the chain. The followers of the crazy rat of the tried to meddle with it, using their magic after hearing a voice in their dreams. My soldiers almost had them caught when Ramian got in the way, allowing the traitors to go to ground. I made a mistake. I didn't have him locked in a cell and interrogated to within an inch of his life. And now the city lies in ruins. It's time to rectify that mistake. 
I've told you before, and I'll tell you again. My people foresaw the attack on the city. They knew the Warpstone already carried the seed of corruption within itself. They were simply trying to heal. I've heard similar claims before. Now where was it? Ah yes, from Staunton Wayne, the traitor who brought down Dresden. The lessons of the past have taught us a great deal, and that is why I never believed you or your mock lies, even for a second. And I was right. Okay... We can't stand aside now. Ah, uh, this Inquisitor is really, really a pain in the ass. Yeah, well, let's do the chaotic thing. So we have to do, the next time we'll have to do a lawful thing. Again. The Azima holds up his hands in a placating gesture. Stop. You are the defenders of what remains of Canabras. Can't you think of anything better than to do than be at each other's throats in the ruins of the city? You've performed a chaotic Rimin looks at the prelate. You're a fool, woman. You're a salad and a murderer. But you're a fool first and foremost. I told you that the words Wardstone was weakened. You wouldn't listen. I warned you that the city was going to be attacked. You shoot me away. The truth is that my young adepts were trying to save the Wardstone and you stopped them. Of course. Those truly responsible for this tragedy are the demons, but you have done nothing to prevent it, and now you would still rather kill an innocent person and perish yourself than admit that you were wrong, as always. Beast, heretic, traitor, he slipped away again. The prelate stamps his foot in outrage, then turns his eyes on you. What about you? Whose side are you on? If you want me to believe that you're on no cultist, go and recapture that traitor for me. Or perhaps you want to defend him? In that case, my soldiers don't need to be told twice. Yeah, well, we can't do this, this thing because we must do a, a lawful thing next. I see you suffered greatly in battle. Nonsense. I had to deal with a brood of nebuses. It was nothing. I've taken on worse enemies and the go in worse enemies with the goddess's help. Uh, nebuses, also known as death demons, have the ability to drain the victim's life force. Judging by Huldrun's pillar, he has lost a significant amount of his energy. The Inquisitor can bluster as much as he wants, but right now he's far from the peak of his abilities. Oh, interesting. So now we could attack him if it weren't chaotic. <laughs> Why are you obsessed with finding enemies everywhere you look? About the attack? Those crazed desonants. We're always bursting into my study with the incoherent prophecies that came to them in their dreams. I won't lie. Sometimes what they said did come to pass. But can we really rely on the woolly dreams of heretics over the cold heart? Reports, plenty of demons could have easily fooled them and whispered a treasonous plan in their dreams. And those lunatics would have been only too happy to listen. This time Mr. Curls for Brains came to me and declared that demons were about to attack the city and that the Wardstone's power was diminished by some kind of contamination or taint. You may there forgive me for even repeating the words. After uttering such blasphemy, he should have been locked up along with his followers in the in and interrogated. Instead, I simply increased the surveillance on them. And what next? Our people caught them red-handed, trying to attack the Wardstone, 
with unknown magic. And not three days later, the demons attacked the city. There's an obvious connection between these events. Whether deliberately or under demonic influence, the Desnans played right into the hands of the Ares hordes and they almost left the city completely defenseless. Ramian covered for his people the whole time and helped them escape my guards. After that, what else can he be put, uh, can he be but a traitor and a heretic? There's nothing dangerous in this hole. You have no reason to guard it. I won't hear any other words. Demons are hiding underground. The proof is all around you. Demons spawn that try to crawl out to harm anyone. Now, wait, you're trying to lure me away from here, aren't you? With arrowed eyes, the scans you from head to toe. Perhaps you are a cultist too? Want to help your friends underground, do you? Well, you won't fool me. I won't take a single step away from here. And if you keep talking nonsense, I'll have you strung up for reason. <laughs> How should I know? Weasel can't have gone far. He turned invisible. He's probably hunkered down in some hole like the traitorous little rat he is, and he'll be sitting, trembling, and waiting till he's With the prelate after you, that seems the only sensible thing to do. It's what I'd do. I'm sure lots of things sound sensible to you. And it works too. As you can see, I'm still alive. Okay. Let's ask this why. Why? You must not be from these parts or you wouldn't have asked such a question. I look for enemies everywhere because our enemies are everywhere. Who are we at war with? Demons. Demons and cultists. They are masters of deception. They worm their way into your favor and masquerade in all manner of false guides. You think Dresden has taken by force you think Dresden was taken by force? No, by trickery. Were it not for me, Canabras would have gone the same way long ago, captured out under your our nose. Now listen to what I am about to tell you. This was a long time ago. I was very young, and I had just joined the crusade back then. Canabras didn't have a garrison so much as a public thoroughfare. Anyone who wanted could just stroll into the city. One day at dawn, a group of refugees came up to the city gates, bold as brass. The guards let them in, and why not? For no one was ever turned away. It was no matter. Everyone was welcome in our city. If you came from Mendes, or if you told yourself here from across the seas, the crusade accepted all and sundry. But on this occasion, we paid dearly for our laxity. Just as soon as those innocent lambs entered the city, they transformed into demons and rushed toward towards them, slaughtering everyone who tried to stop them. Sixty-two people died in less than a minute. Demons used their mutilated corpses as a great obelisk. None of them dared to go near it. The light of the goddess burned them all. So they threw the blood from afar, spattering the wardstone from every direction. And the lead demon, an eyeless beast, Minago is her name, peered and gloated, saying we mortals have been sitting ducks. The creature was right too. We let our guard down and we got what we deserved. That bloodbath came to be known as the Red Morning Massacre. Not a red wedding. <laughs> and it was burned into the town's full memory. Since then, Canabras has adopted different practices. Heretics, his spies, all the rabble who coveted Arido's glory, we drove them all out. We haven't had any trouble here since. Many have come here, even the Bela Koram Sada. 
What's Coram Sade? Strategy. It's one of Discari's most powerful generals. Okay. And they have all been sent straight back up to the, to where they came from. Or else they were killed for their trouble. You see, Discari himself had to crawl out of the abyss and come here. The goddess cursed him in order to break through our defenses. And what did he do? He left again. And we're still fighting. Now that is what vigilance and discipline can do. Okay. I have to go. Go on then. If you have to. It would be good if you could return with the head of that scum. I remember you. When father and I arrived in the city, you met. What is this gibberish? As if I have nothing better to do than to arrange meetings with vagrants. But it's true. You and the other knights tied us to sticks and started lighting the bonfire. Father died. And then one of your knights changed his mind and pulled me from the flames. But then he died too. Don't you remember? If you were burned, then it was with good reason. You say some traitor helped you escape from the fire? That is a crime in itself, which means that you have been evading justice all this, these years. If it weren't for the invasion, I would review your case and see that your sentence was finally fulfilled. So lucky that we have more important matters to deal with right now. Okay, he didn't look the way he does now, all wrinkled and grey. He was young, with a big moustache. Amber smiles broadly and draws a large, bushy moustache in the air with her finger. He probably forgot all about me. It was a long time ago, but I do want to say one thing. I'm not cross with him. This knight is a true hero. He just really, really wanted to protect me. Only he got all mixed up about who was good and who was evil. Okay, she's a Luna Love Good. That's what she is. Huh, we could do it now, lawful. <laughs> Hulrun, you sent an innocent child to be burned at the stake. Don't you want to us? Perha. Anyone can look. How did this girl manage to survive the fire? And what about that crow that's always flying around her? I advise you to take a closer look at this innocent little lamb of yours. If you ask me, she looks highly suspicious indeed. You forgive him after what he did to you? He thought he was doing what was right. How do you know? Maybe you've done something thinking it was a good thing, but you were really doing a bad thing that hurt someone. But what if, what if I've done the same thing? You can't get angry at people for making mistakes when you might be no better than them. Hmm. She's really nice, let's attack him. What? I'd like to see you try, demon worshipper. So, we're even. Ha! Save the last one for me. This could be... Uh, um, this could have been... bad. <laughs> As we are... out of spells. Let's respell. No, let's see. Oh. Huh? 
Let's put this on. Okay, thumbs up. Let's kill the Inquisitor, the small Inquisitor first. That it's the end. Can you drink this, please? You stupid boar. Okay. No, 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 no. Ah, oh, come on. Ah. Oh. <sighs> oh, now I have to do all this thing again. This is so stupid. Okay, I'll do the... This is... this was just... Oh. You've crossed the wrong mongrel. Two ones in a row. What what did you do, pig? You just have to oh. Yeah, okay, I'll I'll die. Surrender or else. Okay. Uh yeah. I will do this again. I hope we'll see each other again soon. Until then, see you. Bye.